Hello Z-Bird and welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle and today I guess we're moving on with the boss. I didn't even realize we were that close to it. I just sort of finished off the last episode because I was getting really, really hungry and I wanted a snack but it looks like, yeah, we're right before the boss of this area so I guess we're gonna go ahead and do that. I feel like I might have missed something but no, we destroyed all these guys. We had a battle and then we're good for the boss. Okay, I guess I should have looked slightly ahead a little bit more. But with that being said, the best thing we can do right now is check out our weapon selection. It might, this might actually end up being a good thing. Who knows how difficult this boss is or how long it might take me. So it might be a good idea to you know keep a whole episode to it. For now, I'm just trying to make sure we have as strong of a weapon as I can manage and that's looking like it's the case. I did mess with this stuff I think a little bit at the end of last episode. Yeah, we're all out of uh, stuff for most people. So with that being being said, let's go and deal with this boss fight. Is this the final boss of the area, or the, the whole DLC maybe? Because we've already tried to deal with Rabbit Kong once, he got mad and ran away, and he's now, now he's drawing pictures of us in the sand and crossing it out. <laughs> he's a forlorn warrior. What is going on? Is he gonna leave? Or is he ready for the final showdown along the massive waves? Oh boy. Huh? Whoa, what is he doing? What in the world? Whoa, he's got the banana scepter. Oh boy, Mega Rabbit Kong, 11th hour encore. Oh gosh, this has to be the last battle then. And nobody's here to help him out from what I say. Okay, that's not the case. <laughs> so there's no pool to help him out. It's just his mega banana scepter and his friends. So we should be able to actually make this work pretty well. This is a cool looking map too. It's all like corroded or I guess corrosion from the uh, waters going over and over and over again. Very cool looking. Oh my gosh, we're just going right into the final boss. Isn't this awesome? So we already know that we're good to go with what we got. And we just have this, you know, rabid uh, monster <laughs> to deal with. I'm trying to think, like, what's the best idea? Because, like, there's a couple things I could do here. I'm thinking that I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna do that for a very good reason. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Yeah, we're just gonna try to see how much damage we can deal to him right, right now, right away. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and try to, as, Oh, there's so many options. <laughs> there are way too many options. Um, I'm thinking I could go ahead and call these guys over, and then, I don't think this is a call over. Yeah, it doesn't call him over, but that's fine, that's fine. And he's like, oh, I don't like this. That's fine, you don't have to, it's gonna happen anyways. So when we do this though, look at this, it's gonna hurt him. Oh, this is gonna hurt him something fierce, and also get rid of some of the bucklers pretty well. It does some critical damage, which is amazing. Of course, he's immune to the bounce, but that's not really the big deal. Okay, now get sort of that dude, perfect. So at this point, I'm thinking we could uh, just sort of sneak over this way and finish his buckler off like this. His shield is facing this way, but I think we should still be able to hit him, finish him, and you're already feeling a little lonely, aren't you? Oh, this is gonna be perfect. So what we wanna do now is probably just have Rabbit Cranky go ahead and do this, or we could do this. Which one's gonna do more? Oh, this one actually do more damage because of how close we are, so go ahead and try this out. He's like, hitting is just, I can take it, I can take it. You won't be able to take it soon enough. But anyways, we're gonna have you hide, I guess, here. I mean, this might end up hitting DK, so I'm a little nervous about it. Maybe I should have hit from a different location. But we can do the stink eye, and that should be good. This is already turning out really well for us. I mean, there really isn't too much more we can do besides put that shield up, but I'd rather not. It's just you for right now. Whoa, okay, I wasn't expecting to do that. So I guess that stink eye was wasted. So he can do some crazy stuff. Yeah, there goes that stink eye for sure. Okay, I'm thinking that it might be good for, yeah, I'm thinking what'll be good then is we can go ahead and, I mean, we can go all up here in this dude's business if we want to try hurting them, hurting him a little bit more. And then, actually, I actually want to get these two out of the ground and try to deal with them that way, because then what we could do is, I mean, I can't set up the stink guy again, but I could definitely hurt these two. They're both bucklers, though, so I don't really know how well it's gonna work, but we could activate the hairy eye, just like that. I can, you know, use that on them whenever I need to. I can damage these two, I can damage one of them. I don't know if that's exactly worth it for the time being. Maybe I can just toss this at you. Boom, critical. I mean, it's still good to have. I could slide attack you, move about here. 
I don't know that's all that worth it, but I can put these guys to sleep, which is sort of the big deal about it, is I can definitely put them to sleep, and they can just sort of chill out there for a little bit. Uh, so maybe not worth really waking these guys up or popping them out of the ground prematurely. Doesn't seem like it worked out too well. But can I toss this over to, you know, I can't, okay. So this will get rid of that guy, but it won't get rid of this guy is a problem. But both of their shields are down when it's like this. But I can get rid of this guy without waking that dude up, and it's a golden shot, which is nice. And we still have a rabid peach we can move, really. I don't think he's gonna have long enough range that doing this is going to hurt too much. Like going up here, I know it's a little bit vulnerable, but now what we could do, I can't even get into the range of it. So okay, we'll leave it like that, I think. I mean, I can't hit anybody with that. Hitting him with that would be a bad idea, so I think we're done. What are you gonna do from this distance? Can you really do too much? Oh, here goes DK, hitting him with the banana. Obviously not doing do, doing a ton, but he's already down to 569. As long as we can get Rabbit Peach to heal from time to time, which is probably what I'll try to focus on here, uh, things can go really well. That didn't bounce us away, so that's all I was worried about there. Okay, so nobody's popping out of the ground just yet. I can get her first off, pick up these bananas, just because I don't know what's gonna be happening after this. Um, we're gonna move her like this. Then what we're gonna do, is have DK get a little closer as well. Um, we're gonna have him pick up Cranky, move right here, and I guess toss him this way. Um, I wanna be able to hit him without getting damage from what's gonna end up being the uh, drone I'll throw out, or the sentry, or whatever it is, you know, the thing the Rabbit Peach can do. So do that. We're then going to have uh, you all get healed up. Oh, I should probably wait then. Ah, oh, that was sort of a shame. That's fine, because actually this won't hurt him. Perfect! Okay, so hit you with that. I mean, I should have seen that that was actually gonna do more damage. It did 77, which is still pretty good, but we can end up, this still does more damage. I thought that, oh yeah, this one isn't the one that's good against bosses. Now I remember. So we can go ahead and do this. Got it. He's immune. But hopefully we can activate Stink Eye and go somewhere where maybe you won't push us away. I mean, you might, no matter what, push us away, but hopefully if I just hide and maybe get somebody else closer that you would more rather push away? I mean, I don't know if I can get anybody else all that much closer. I suppose not. I mean, I could focus on this dude. I don't think it matters too much, because I'd rather just focus, with how low you are, I'd really much rather focus on you. I mean, there might be a phase two after this, but I'm pretty sure he'll just be done for. One thing I've also noticed, no sound, what, like no music whatsoever. I don't know if that's a glitch, but I'm pretty sure it's just it trying to be on. It's okay, there's some music, but it's very, quiet and somber. I really feel like there might be a phase two after this. Oh, here we go, we can at least get this guy. Did we hit DK too? I don't think we did. I don't know why we didn't hit him a second time though. We do have double uh, stink eye. Okay, so my best bet, can DK run over here if I do this? Yeah, he could run over, okay, perfect. That should probably be our best bet then. Then I'll probably have Rabbit Peach just sort of jump over for now. Something like this, and then you should be able to hit him from there, and that'll be pretty decent. A little bit extra damage. Uh, so go ahead and do that. It's just blast him. It's even a critical, so 82 damage is pretty good. Move back over to you. Have you land about here? Perfect. Rabbit Cranky is definitely a big source of our damage with how he just works as a character, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna have you go over this way, land right here, so you can really blast him. I mean, maybe I should have actually thrown him to a safer spot. He's not gonna be able to move after this. But we almost have him down already. So boom, he gets the 60 damage. We're gonna throw the banana at him. We might actually be able to beat him right here. 70 damage there. Move over to Cranky. Hit him like that. What's gonna happen? Did we just win? 105. I don't know. He's just doing that. Luckily, nobody was in the center. Whoa. Okay, he's definitely not done. What are those? We need to run over those to activate the shield that he has over him, right? That's not gonna be easy, because he's about to have the move. Like, he's gonna move next, which is really tough. I think. Oh, and if we do that, we can go into the golden barrel and maybe snag a win. That'd be perfect. Okay, so Rabbit Peach is sort of the closest to the action here, so we gotta be careful with that. Enemies, oh no. Now the music ramps up. This is scary. Look at how much, he just has like a glitched out health bar. It's just changing numbers all the time. He's broke the game. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is cool. But also really scary. So we're really gonna have to use ZK to throw some people around, I think, if we wanna do this properly. So I think we're gonna have Rabbit Peach move this way as much as I possibly can. I think that'd be good. I don't know where Cranky is at the moment. Cranky is over this way. So what I could do is something like this so that he can just activate this 
I think that already broke one piece of it, which is perfect. Um, I don't think we have to stay on it, but that makes him mad and makes him attack us. Oh, that's really bad timing. Really bad timing. I might be able to get some health back if I attack him, but no, that's immune. That just broke our shield. Uh-oh, that's a problem. What if I were to throw you onto a button? That probably wouldn't work out, but seeing how I can't reach it, I might as well try. Let's see, does that activate the button? I would sure hope so, that'd be perfect. Yeah, that works, awesome! You just have to hold on tight, rabbit cranky! Oh no, that didn't work. It made a noise like it would work. That's total baloney. Okay, well I can't really do too much more except for can I attack anybody with any of this? I mean, I'd rather go for these guys, I suppose. But then I wanna press this button, and then that's the last button over there. Wow, we could win this very soon. But I just need Rabbit Cranky to survive. He's not in a good position for the whole surviving thing. He's gonna attack Cranky. Oh no, he's actually gonna leave him alone, thank you. But DK is just as low on health, so we gotta be careful. That's 60 damage to him right there, oh no. Oh no, okay, he attacks him. Well, that's at least a good target that's gonna distract him for a little bit. Don't attack DK. Oh gosh. Oh, he's getting really low. We need to find a way to make Rabbit Peach catch up to him or something. I have no clue how we're gonna do that. I have no clue. Okay, at least this will explode these two, which I guess is okay. The problem is I still need to hit this somehow, but I can't do that right now. Oh, this might be game over. Depending on how I can do this, depending on how, which right now it's not looking like there's really too much way of a how. Jeez, that's so not cool. There's really not too much I can do. DK is gonna get taken out. Oh, that stinks, this is really tough. Hmm. Like DK can pick you up and then he can go this way, but he needs to press that button, but what's more important is that he survives? I think that's way more important, right? <laughs> so if we could just do this, That'd be great, so I could just get by you and maybe damage a smasher along the way. And then if Rabbit Peach could just get a little bit closer. She's right behind that fire block, so I think she might be able to get close enough that she could heal. Oh, she should. She should, if I stand right about here, and then, I think so. Let's hope for the best. Please, please, please. Yeah, look at that. Here you have DK. All the way almost to full. How fantastic is that? We're gonna hit you with the honey shot so you're even farther honeyed. Um, the best thing you can do at this moment then, I guess, is to get, like, get rid of this guy. Maybe we'll get a critical, that'd be amazing. That's a critical, so that's gonna take you out, and it gets us some even more health back. So we're having a hard time reaching the buttons for right now, but that should be fine, because we're at full health. We can work with some other stuff. Okay, we were just able to make that work. It's beautiful. I'm probably gonna throw Rabbit Peach over that way, or something. Maybe I could just have Rabbit Peach jump over there? It's hard to say. Um, Where's the other button though? Oh, the button's still over that way, whoops, okay. Um, so I'm gonna have Rabbit Cranky, oh, so close, yet so far. Um, it's tough to say, but I think I'm gonna have, yeah, do this. And then the second thing I'll do is put these smashers to sleep. Um, no, no, no. Put them to sleep, put them to sleep, just put them on snooze. And then somebody has to get to the barrel after that. But from here, I mean, actually, I might be able to make this work. No, if I made him go one spot farther. I don't know if I could have or not. Oh, that would have been beautiful though. That would have been all I needed. All right, well, the next best thing then. I don't know. I mean, I would think it's, uh, like, how far do I have to go so that I can throw you over there? Pretty far. Okay, well, I'll do what I need to do. At least DK sort of in a good position to make his way to the barrel afterwards. Like, that would be good, because we now only need one more switch to hit. I really hope we're not going past our turn amount. Oh yeah, he gets really mad about this. I'm so sorry, Rabbit Cranky. This is happen to you, happening to you a lot. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and, they're both asleep, but this will wake one of them up. Might be a critical, though. Not a critical. Okay, so he's mad about that, whatever. I gotta just slide tackle him. Will you actually hit him? Oh, that's bad. 60 extra damage we really shouldn't have taken. Okay, so at least we can do this and then move this way and hit this thing one way or another. Next turn, and then the turn after that, maybe get to the barrel, it's gonna be hard to say. Oh boy. 
Okay, so what are you gonna do? I don't like it. I don't like he's charging up for something. It's the hit DK again. No, DK! Oh, at least that pushes him closer to Rabbit. Oh, that actually might work for us. That might be your own downfall, buddy. I'm telling you that, that right now. Um. Huh. Trying to find out like, what's the best way to do this right now, because I could. I can't heal you at the moment. But you know what I could do? Okay, so first off, activate your shield. Second off, run over here onto the button. Third, wait for him to do his cranky, or it's not cranky, his uh, rabbit Kong thing. Ah, uh, the only problem with this though, is that this should knock him out of the way, or knock her out of the way. Please not, oh, uh, okay, that way, that's a problem now. Can't reach the way I was trying to reach, because uh, I can't reach her anymore, I don't think. Not quite. So you know what? I'm just gonna do this the smart way. Run over this way. I really hope we haven't broke turn limit, but we probably have, which is totally disappointing. Uh, And we can just run over this way, just in case. Don't think it's gonna change much. We should be able to get on my next turn if all we have to do is land in that barrel. We got it. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go for DK though, you know this. You might push him into it at this rate, or you're gonna try to angle this. Oh no, DK, DK. Oh, that was a critical as well. Oh boy, no we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Hopefully. <laughs> oh gosh, no, no DK! It's gonna be all right buddy, please! Hold on a little bit more, you can do it! Oh gosh, I'm so nervous, he has 13 health. We can do it though, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, these guys are gonna start summoning, but it doesn't matter, we're almost there. You can't take this away from us. We're gonna save DK Island. So the first thing I'm gonna do, just in case there is more after this, is go this way and heal him, because he needs it. Our, our big, Monkey friend here really needs some support and he's gonna get it. Okay, so let's try it. What happens when I hop into here? Come on, DK, Craggy, Robin Peach, hop on in! Give him the DK punch of a lifetime and I guess Rabbit Cranky's giving him a booty bump. Oh, here we go, boom. Wow, we're giving it to him. Oh. <laughs> we broke his shield! Oh, I think he just spat out the, the last banana. Oh, is he turning back to normal? I think he is. So what are you gonna do with, oh, it just turns back into a normal banana. I think Donkey Kong likes it a little bit more that way. Yeah, we win! You okay, big guy? He just has this blank stare. Oh, is she gonna give him the banana? He's scared of her. Oh no, oh no, back it up. Huh? Aww. Here, you can have it. Wow, she actually was nice to somebody. Rabbit Peach, despite her heartless actions atop the block tower that led us here, has proven herself a reformed rabbit, showing mercy in our hour of victory to this poor misunderstood creature. Perhaps she is a diva, a diva of dignity, grace, and compassion. Wow. All right, when Kongs collide, no! I was supposed to do that in six turns? Are you serious? Wow, well it looks like we still have some stuff to do in the future. New weapons available, we got ourselves a lot of bananas there at the least. And that's awesome because uh, we have to go back to do a couple things I'm sure because we've finished our adventure but we still have four more puzzle pieces to find. Like there's still lots of stuff we'll be doing in today's episode and in general but for right now, looks like she's back to tanning. <laughs> I guess they're friends now, huh? Oh, is he bringing the laundry machine back? <laughs> I think he's playing with it, or I think she's playing with her emo or his emotions. Well, I got the diva part right anyhow. <laughs> yeah, was that it? I think so. So that was amazing. What a fun DLC, I really liked that. Oh, we're not done. Well, Rabbit Kong, thank you for carrying the washer. Next time I need to move, uh, need to move, I know who to call, ha <laughs> little joke. Well, I think the warranty is definitely shot, but the washer is good as new, or at least as good as it ever was. I suppose this is goodbye, as it is your intention to remain here and make amends with or for your banana racketeering. 
As for Rabbit Peach and myself, it's back to Mushroom Kingdom. I am overjoyed, however, to be parting as friends. Oh, he's gonna cry. He doesn't wanna go. It's okay, big guy, stop your crying. <laughs> Aww. What, does she not wanna leave? Or she wants to take a selfie. All right, one last selfie for the road. Oh, oh, get a little bit closer. Oh, it's a selfie stick. Oh my gosh. Perfect. <laughs> cranky looks well, cranky. Except for in that photo, he actually looks happy. Hooray! So there we go, we won. I hope. Yeah, it looks like we got the credits. What an awesome DLC. That was a ton of fun for sure. I actually thought the final boss was gonna be a bit more difficult but it was fine, I mean, it's gonna be difficult to get the perfect four for three less turns, but that's why we're gonna level up our characters a bunch and then probably try another crack at it to see how things end up going. But that was fantastic, there's still so much more to do, we gotta get all the perfect. So we only missed perfect for two levels, which is the first Rabbit Kong boss and then the second one. So now that we're gonna have more powerful weapons, it should be easier, because we got a lot of bananas there and then we also got new weapons unlocked that we can buy, and then, Beyond that, we have four more puzzle pieces to find. I think there are ultimate challenges afterwards, so lots more left to go if you want to see more. Stay tuned. But for now, that was so fantastic. I feel like that was one of the strongest DLC add-ons I've seen in a game before. And that is saying slightly after Octo Expansion. Like, Nintendo has been killing it with the DLC, DLC expansions. Because most companies, you know, they'll do their 20, 30 DLC expansions, and they can be cool, but they're not like, whoa, that was a huge amount of addition to the game. But now what Nintendo did it like sort of set a good example with Splatoon 2 with the Octo expansion and now this with the uh, Donkey Kong Adventure. These were almost full on games, like true multiple hour experiences that could be standalone if they wanted it to be, but are amazing just as they are in addition to the game and totally worth every penny. So thank you guys for joining me on the all, all on the ride with this one. It was so much fun. Like I said, there's plenty more coming soon. The art design was amazing. It makes me think I really want a new Donkey Kong game. I mean, we just played back in May, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze for the Switch and that was so much fun. Um, but honestly, I really would like to see a 3D Donkey Kong game. I wonder how interested Nintendo would be to like help or have Ubisoft make something like that next. I don't know. And it does make you think, like this was sort of the big thing after Mario and Rabbids to do a DLC expansion that they confirmed from the beginning. Um, I think at first we didn't really know what it was gonna be, then it was confirmed it was gonna be Donkey Kong, um, and then it came out, and here it is, and we, and we played it, and it was awesome. But with that being said, what's next? I hope that the uh, relationship between Ubisoft and Nintendo doesn't end here. I know it doesn't, because Ubisoft is releasing a new Toys to Life style game called Starlink, and it's basically like flying a ship around and you get to buy different pieces of the ship and expand it. With that being said, uh, I know Star Fox is making a guest appearance in that game. So hopefully that kind of stuff continues. I would wonder if maybe they would wanna do a new Mario and Rabbids game, maybe going against a different genre or maybe combine a different character with Rabbids. I don't really know, but I feel like they can make something really fantastic. And it was awesome because it brought a Nintendo character into a style of game we haven't really seen a Nintendo character in, which is that sort of turn-based tactical RPG. And that is really cool. And hopefully we can see more of that in the future. Uh, because I think that's really what Nintendo was looking for, was for Ubisoft to do something they wouldn't do themselves, but also make it really good. So hopefully we can see more of that kind of stuff in the future, whatever that might be. But for now, I'm just happy with what we got. It was amazing. And it's cool because it's totally revitalized rabbits. The rabbits were seen as almost, I guess, like the minions of the gaming world, which is, I guess, an interesting way of describing it, but uh, in a way that like a lot of people weren't really big fans of rabbits, they found them annoying, but I feel like that the rabbits humor in Mario and Rabbids was very tasteful and it worked out really well. A lot of people were dreading this before it came out, but when it came out, it was like, hey, this is surprisingly good. And now, you know, with the DLC, it's even better, so. I like it. And then we have all this remix Donkey Kong music playing in the background from the adventure, and it's just like, oh, it's so good. I think that's about all I can blab about it. I mean, it was just fantastic, for sure. So, we'll probably, let, I'll let this credits swing by, and we'll see what we can do afterwards. I'll probably try to uh, level up our characters a little bit. Maybe I could try some of the Rabbit Kong battles again and get them perfect. We'll have to wait and see, but for now, let's let the loading screen go on by. Okay, what's happening now? Oh! We finally get more closure on this scene. She finally comes back in, and the room is destroyed. What is she going to do? Oh, maybe she, she got photos of the journey. I don't know. Yeah, this is weird, because this isn't a very opening cutscene of the game. Yeah, she's looking at it like, oh, look at this adventure you had, Beepo. 
Wow. I really want more exposure on this story, because it seemed like it was a big part at first, and then of course it just sort of goes away. Is that it? Oh, I want more! I need to learn more about that. It's like this weird like background story. You never really learn much about. But there we go, that was Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, Donkey Kong Adventure. I do want to poke back in. Maybe we'll just sort of explore around a little bit more. I mean, I would like to try some of those bottles a little bit more, but I don't know, it might be something I'm sort of running out of time that we can check out in the next episode. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna explore the Atoll a little bit because we really haven't. Oh, hey, Beepo's doing something. Hey, ah, another rousing success. Bad bananas restored, washing machine repaired, rabbit concrete reformed. He was reformed indeed. Something's bothering me though. What is it? Oh. My senses detect some residual corruption left behind by the Megabug's influence. Oh my. And those rabbits with the banana hats woke up. Looks like they're seeking our attention. I guess those are like the ultimate challenges. We'll check it out really quickly. Come, the fight isn't over yet. New challenges await us if we want to get this over with. Wow, okay, we'll worry about that in a little bit. Not on today's episode will we do the challenges, but I'll worry about it soon enough. I do want to sort of check everything out though. Just sort of take a little bit of an explore on the Atoll and see what we find. Like, what are you? You are challenge one, Banana Lagoon, what do you know? So, we'll be starting to tackle all the Atoll stuff and all the challenges soon enough. And those will be their own episodes for sure. Washing machine, laboratory. so what is this about? Um, oh, so this is where we can actually replay the level. So this is where I'm gonna go into in just a moment. But there was only two levels in the entire DLC that we didn't get perfect, which is actually really good compared to all the levels we struggled with in the main story. This one was definitely a lot less difficult in that way. So this looks like it has more uh, rabbit challenges. Here's that thing where we have a couple pieces left over. One, two, three? Thought we were missing four. Um, just a few more puzzle pieces to go, we can do this. I only see three missing spots. Oh, we did get the 17th one. Huh, okay. What is this way? Um, how in the world are we supposed to get to the cute little island, I wonder? Perhaps with uh, the, the rabbits with the ben banana help, hats can help. Okay, so I guess if we complete more challenges, we can go that way. Look at these two, having some fun. <laughs> it's a banana stampede, fall back, turn the herd, you owl hoot ninnies, yeehaw! <laughs> what? Okay, I guess because we're riding it like a cowboy. There's a couple more that way. It feels like that's what the whole, entire eight hall's about. And then we have a museum this way. So of course, this is where we can check out all the extra stuff we've collected. We still need one more here, one more there, and five more here. So we've definitely missed out on a good couple of things, which is a shame. I mean, maybe it's stuff that we'll end up getting, because there have been a, a couple of treasure chests around. So let's finally check out the Battle HQ, then we'll go back to the uh, uh, washing machine, we'll get a couple more things done. We got three points here, so what do I want to do with those? I'm thinking that we can definitely do some hairy eye damage for three points, it's a little expensive when you think about it, but uh, really, like, what else would I want to do? I don't know, I can't actually afford much more. Yeah, I can't actually afford anything more with one point. Uh, so, for DK at the least. For you, I can increase that, or I could give her more health. For three points, I could increase her pipe exit range. I think her pipe exit range will probably be a better idea. Or no, no, I mean her health. You know what, yeah, her health would be better. Go ahead and do that. Uh, and then for you, long story range, long story cooldown, extra health for him would be good, because honestly, he gets beat up a lot. Uh, but then we only have one point. We'll, do, we'll go, do, go ahead and do long story range. Okay, well that's something. Uh, going to the weapons now. This is where things are gonna get interesting. We should have, oh, a missing weapon here. Before one solves this puzzle, one must find all the pieces, even if they're under a couch. All oh, the puzzle pieces, that's cool. So this is the score, or the sconce response. Island Legend says the Banana King received a gold bananarang from the god Bananola. Bananola? Okay. Uh, Banana Loa, okay. <laughs> he built the temple of Bonana Fanan Mahu in thanks. Huh, 1600, could against Buckler, 70 to 80 damage with burn damage, I'll take it. We'll just upgrade all the primaries for now. Um, have we seen this before? Yeah, the Smack and Kraken we have. This is another um, one before, yeah, we need to find all of the, the puzzle pieces, uh, even if the pet dog ate them. And then we got the horn-nosed needler. Look at this. Oh, it's like Rambi. Supercharger chances for victory with this officially licensed Rambi merchandise available at finer battles, HQs everywhere. Good against summoners, 70 to 80 damage, so it's definitely good. It has a push chance, so we'll just add it. Um, and then for you, we have the Megaton S21. Your your enemy's offensive, your enemy's offense, 
No, it's offensive. We'll have you waving a white flag when pigs learn to fly. Foes are in for a dog fight when this ace gets airborne. Ink chance, good against Ziggy's. I'll, oh, I can't afford it. Okay, I'll have to get it later. But very cool, now we have some stuff that'll be worthwhile earning up bananas for. Let's go ahead and deal with the original Rabbit Kong boss a little bit and see what we can end up getting done. It might be awesome. I would hope so, but we're gonna find out. So I need to go all the way to world three, I suppose, and we gotta do this one. And it's the jungle, of course. Yeah, I guess it's the jungle. Not really super crazy naming there. But we got so close to surviving this before, we just didn't really know how it was gonna work. And now I don't remember how it's gonna work, but I'll find out sooner or later. Uh, I mean, as we go along, we'll, we'll probably figure it out. But yeah, it should be great. I'll have a lot of fun. Hopefully you will too. I mean, the last time we tried this, we were very close to getting it. It was just a matter of the strategy that was gonna do the most damage to him ended up crashing the game. I'm sure you all remember. So we can skip that cutscene, defeat this boss one more time. And things should go pretty well with it. Hopefully. I mean, we'll try to beat the other, the final boss as well, but we'll have to see. Okay, things are looking a little stressful around here, but we should be good because I already checked out all the Battle HQ stuff. So if we want to follow the saving strike strategy we're used to, what we could do, oh no, no, I do not want to throw Cranky. Yeah, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. We want to go ahead and just do this and throw it at the pool. Got it. Now I don't know if we'll do as much damage with Rabid Cranky is one thing. The, uh, you know. <laughs> uh, the what's it called? The, uh, Pandemonium, but it will do more damage for this situation. We might as well just toss it then. Yeah, that should be good. Boom. I mean, it still does good damage and actually hit the thing in the background. I think we're actually doing more damage overall. So that should be good. 94 health, it doesn't really matter how he gets healed. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna wait like this, just like we did before. Everything we've done in the past, we're gonna do again. We don't even have to worry about the Ziggies too much because if Rabbit Peach gets hurt, she should be able to just heal just fine. And he should move this way, which would be perfect. Um, I guess we'll just throw your banana this way. I mean, why not? Uh, yep. Boom. Not bad. 111 damage is really good. I like that banana. It's really cool. Okay, so you're gonna heal that up. Not a big problem. We're just gonna move this way. Go like this. Uh, and I guess just wait here. I mean, we could. You know what? We probably should have thrown the sentry out before we did that. Oh, uh, we should have. In hindsight, right? because we could have hit both of those things. Like if I take a look, this'll, actually this'll do more damage right now. Boom, critical, not bad. We'll just focus on that. If it does more damage, it does more damage. This would have done more damage overall, I think, if we could have hit the sentry on both of them at the same time. But we'll do this for now. The enemy should move. The pool's gonna do whatever the pool does. Um, blast you like that. The double hit is amazing. He even hit his own Ziggy friend. Okay, so it's down to 1751 already. We're gonna throw the barrel at it, turn it to uh, 1251 just with that. And that's not even a problem. You're gonna hit DK, that's fine, because Rabbit Peach was the one who got taken out. Which is gonna be fine for sure this time, because she definitely has a better heal now than she did, I think. And if not, it's just, you know, we, we damage more. So we're gonna be able to figure it out. But for now, we're gonna jump across. We're gonna wait right here. Um, I guess it would be smarter to start from like down here. I guess not though, it, it really depends. I'm definitely gonna pick this up, and then I can toss it this way. If I were to do this, I mean, it would hurt that, but it wouldn't hurt the Ziggy, I don't think, so that's what I was trying to do. See if I can't hurt it. Okay, you're gonna hurt me like that. It's a freeze, which sort of kind of stinks, but it's not the biggest deal in the world, because that's just gonna stop me from uh, throwing out a move I wouldn't have really thrown out this time anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. I would hope it would bounce off of somebody and hit somebody else, but it doesn't. It is a critical, though, which is really cool. Um, so what do we wanna do here? I mean, we could just stay up here. I mean, I know the Smashers are eventually gonna show up. Is that gonna hit us? That will a little bit, but 25 damage really isn't doing anything anything to really worry about too much. I mean, we could try the Sentry like this. I think this one will hurt him more, I guess. I don't know, we could just try it, see what ends up happening. That way at least gets rid of one other enemy that's giving us a problem. Because, you know, the Ziggy's hitting us over and over again will eventually be problematic. And we shouldn't have, I don't think we have Rabbit Cranky's other move, so. The best thing we can do for him is this. Even if it doesn't do too much damage, well, actually, this might do more. It's hard to tell. It definitely doesn't seem like it's gonna make too much of a difference. We might as well go for this and see what ends up happening. Boom, 82 damage, not too bad. And you know what? What if we were to lead him over this way? Oh, I can't go that way. I mean, maybe if I were to go down the pipe, 
No, that's even worse. Okay, we're just gonna stay up here for now. End the turn. Yeah, these guys are gonna end up starting the pop up, but it's not too big of a deal. You might throw a banana that'll push us off, but we should be fine overall. So yeah, we're gonna go back as DK. We're gonna pick up a barrel and toss it, hopefully. So before we move anybody else, I'm gonna go ahead and get DK. We're gonna jump across. We're going to, oh, I can't, really? Are you for real? Okay, if you say so, I don't believe that for a second. Like then maybe it'd be just smarter to jump across like this. I wish there was a pipe around here I could utilize then. Um, might as well like toss this at somebody. I mean, I can toss it at you. It's something at the least. I mean, I gotta stop somewhere, so I'm just gonna stop here and uh, toss this at you. And uh, try this out. So this isn't turning out perfect. How many, I just, I think it's six turns with the requirement. So we're still doing some good damage to it. And this will actually, is it gonna bounce? I don't think it is. Uh, okay. Uh, with, oh, this will do a lot of damage though. Ever so slightly more than that. Okay, perfect. So we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, critical, not bad. Um, we'll move over as Cranky. Now, I think I'll save his stink eye for next time. If I could put somebody to sleep, it'd just be a Ziggy, but it might be worthwhile. Probably not. I sort of regret doing that, but hey, it's, it's just one person. You don't have to worry about. So this will do more damage. Let's go ahead and damage this pool up a little bit. I just really hope that Donkey Kong will be able to reach over there, because I don't think he's going to be able to. Um, And then we can head down this way. I mean, I guess I should instead, like side tackle you, go through this pipe, and I guess just sort of hang out over here might be a good idea, because we're getting it really low, even if we aren't using this barrel, just it would be a better idea to use the barrel. I just hope DK can reach that. Like if I take a look at him, will he be able to, okay, he will be able to reach that pipe, I think. Like if we, yeah, we're looking at movement, he can definitely reach it then. Perfect. I mean, his his movement's not that long. No, that's not correct. Maybe it just doesn't display it, that's weird. Cause that's not how it should be, but that's how it was. Nice, 94, not bad. And then we can heal you guys. Yeah, we could all heal up right now, but I think we wanna wait one more turn. Cause we shouldn't be too far from where we are at the moment. Um, and we'll just do this, hairy eye. And that should be good. So let's get to it, let's see what ends up happening. If you move once, we should be able to hit you like that and boom, hit you for 141 is a really good amount of damage. Cause if we could just get that down by 152 health, oh, not even now, 11 health and throw the barrel at it, we already got that part done. It's just the part after that that might be a little bit of a problem. So that's gonna hurt you, but we're still in the heal range for Rabbit Peach. I just hope he doesn't get taken out too much. Come on, oh boy, that's scary, but actually won't reach us. This might reach us, no it won't. Okay, perfect, that's amazing. Um. So yeah, with that being said, we want to go ahead and heal everybody immediately. This is why I wanted to hold off with the heals, so that we could do it now. Heal all three of us. Let's see if DK can move this way, I would sure hope so. Are you serious? That is not fair. <laughs> like, that's straight up not fair. I mean, oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm gonna jump across this way, maybe. Yes, look at this. Oh, it's amazing. Then I can go ahead and toss this this way. There's a 411 damage, and then I can use the other barrel just to throw, throw right at Rabbit Kong. Yes, we figured it out, that's amazing. Okay, so toss it over there, boom, there goes the pool. He's not gonna be happy about that one, we can skip this though. Oh no, that's it. Oh, I, th I always think there's more. I guess not. I thought there was more after that, I forgot. <laughs> I don't know what's that little symbol next to the perfect, but I, yeah, I don't know what that is. Anyways, we got it, that's what I was looking for, so that's awesome. Robert Crank's Grump Jump can be used twice in a turn thanks to the, both the Team Junk and Donkey Kongs. Yep, we already used that. Okay, see, I don't know what that little symbol was next to the perfect, but I don't see it here anymore, so I mean, if we take a look at the challenges. Oh yeah, we can go back through the entire thing and do challenges in the worlds as well, like oh my gosh, there's so much. Luckily it doesn't even look like we have to travel to them. So there's challenges in the hub world and then, I mean maybe these are different challenges, I don't know. Like this is the Banana Lagoon, that's the first world. It's called Smuggler Stampede. If I were to exit this and check that out here, is this one also Smuggler Stampede or is this a totally different challenge? I think these might be ultimate challenges. No, these are the same ones, Small Guard Stamper. Okay, so they're just sort of over on the overworld as well. I don't have to travel through them. Okay, that's good to know though. 
So that being said, I do have a little bit more time. Ah, I don't know if I do though. Okay, so we will eventually go back to the last boss and redefeat it, but honestly, at this point, I feel like we need to be a little bit stronger yet before we can actually go and beat that boss in six turns. So we'll have lots more action to go. We'll figure it all out in the next episode of Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle Donkey Kong Adventure. If you watch this put a video, make sure you comment washing machine zebra so that you've watched at the end of the you're a zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing and join the Z-Bird. Out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.